our Shalom. We'll start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory, as well as worship to Yahweh, by Shalom, Yahweh Shai, by Shalom, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, the leaders of Israel, and Shalom to the sincere uh, brothers that out there teaching the truth and the truth and the sincerity, and the few sisters that's listening. All right, I'm going to get to a quick lesson, Lord willing, that. <coughs> That the that the servants, the servants of the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, they will eat during the time of Jacob's trouble. All right, because it's going to be it's going to be a, a a famine. All right, there's going to be a famine. Okay, uh, let me start off with that. This is Second Ezra chapter sixteen verse twenty-two. It says, "For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy." Okay. All right. In the time of Jacob's trouble, you know, a lot of people are, are going to be are going to be um, dying from um, starvation. All right. A lot of people are going to starve to death. All right, two thirds of our of the black Hispanics and Native Americans are gonna starve to death. Okay, and those that do escape hunger, the scriptures say that they're gonna be destroyed by the sword. You know, by the and the sword is a modern day gun. All right, Esau is, is gonna um, Esau is gonna get the best of you. All right, but as for the servants of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh you know, we're gonna be eating in those days. Okay. This is Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 13. It says, Therefore thus saith the Lord, the Lord of power, Yahweh, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Okay, talk about the two thirds. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. All right. Service of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, we're gonna be rejoicing in time of Jacob's trouble, man. All right, because we're uh we're gonna be closer to our our salvation. All right, the kingdom is is gonna be uh literally nigh unto us. All right. And let me get a comment. Um, First Kings. Okay. Um. Let's just get straight to the point. Uh, actually, I'll just start at the top. First Kings chapter 17, verse 1. And Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Jaled, said unto Ahab, As the Lord Yahweh, power of Israel, liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. And the word of Yahweh came unto him, saying, Get thee hence, and turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook Cherith that is before Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook, I, and I have commanded the ravens to feed thee. Okay? Hey, so, you know, the, the Lord Yahweh, he, he's going to feed us. You know, he could feed us with ravens. He can can perform any miracle all right to, to feed his servants okay you know um and he he was he um he he gave water he, he he commanded elijah to drink water from the brook all right and he, and he commanded the ravens to feed to feed thee there all right he commanded the ravens to feed him okay Verse five. So he went and did according, according unto the word of Yahweh. 
for he went and dwelt by the brook Cherith, that is before Jordan, and the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning. <coughs> and bread and flesh in the morning brought him, so I can read verse 6, um, and the ravens brought him bread and flesh in the morning and bread and flesh in the evening and drank, and he drank of the brook. All right, so the, the the ravens, they brought him bread and they brought him meat, man. Okay? So the Lord, he's going to feed his servants, all right? All right, so if, if you stock enough food, all right, for, for Jacob's trouble, that's ultimately showing uh, the lack of faith, okay? And um, let me just read, read this next precept. Uh, Proverbs 13 and 22, a, a good man leaveth an inheritance... For his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Okay, hey, so you doomsday preppers, all right? You um, you you really storing up them goods for the for the service of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Okay. All right, you know that that um that stuff that you inheriting, or um the stuff that you storing up, you know that's for the that's for the children of the Lord, all right. You know, you, you so called black Spanish and Native Americans, all right, that's that's um that's pushing this truth and truth and sincerity. All right. The hopeful elect, all right, they they store up these um these Edomites and these wicked Israelites, all right, they storing up um they storing up goods for us, man. Lord willing we have that number, okay? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 8, verse 3. And he humbled thee, and suffered thee to hunger, and feed thee with manna, which thou knewest not. <clears throat> Neither did thy fathers know, that he might make thee know that man doeth not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of, of the Lord, how doeth man live? All right, that's... Um, <laughs> Yeah, how shy he quoted that, all right? He quoted that um in the New Testament. Uh let's see if I can get that uh Let's see. Yeah. Matthew 4:4 4 4. says, "But he answered and said, It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeded out of the mouth of of um, Yahweh, okay. And so we don't live by bread alone. We we live by the words of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Still like you. All right. We live by the words of of the Lord, man. The Lord. Uh, we live by the words of Yahweh, man. You know this is true bread. You know this is the everlasting water. Okay. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 15, verse 11. The Lord Yahweh said, Verily, it shall be shall be well with thy remnant, okay, the elect. Verily, I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well in a time of evil and in a time of affliction. All right, so in the time of Jacob's trouble, man, you know, our enemies, they're going to be um, treating us good, man, okay? In the time of evil and in the time of affliction, all right? You, you might get a... Um, <coughs> you might get an Edomite, all right, that that hooks you up in the time of, um, you might get an Edomite that, um, that blesses you in the time of Jacob's struggle, you know, okay, so, and it also says in Proverbs, you know, um, 
uh, just roughly paraphrasing that uh, that uh, when you live by the words of Yahweh, uh, even thy enemies are at, are at peace with you. Roughly paraphrasing, okay? <coughs> okay. Uh, let me get a, a few more precepts and I'm going to close out. Job chapter 23, verse 12. Neither neither have I gone back from the commandments of his lip, from the commandment of his lips. I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. All right, so food, man, hey, man, food is nothing, man. All right, you, uh, food. Uh, it says, I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than necessary. More than my necessary food, man. All right, so the words of Yahweh Hashem it's more, it's more important than food, man. All right, so you you can't go a day without food. <coughs> you can't go. Um, uh, you always got to think about food, man. Hey, man. You know you're gonna be um you gonna be in shits in the time of trick or trouble. All right. All right, because the words of Yahweh is uh Job say is more necessary than um than food, man. Okay. Psalms uh thirty seven verse. <laughs> Psalms chapter 37, verse 25. I have been young and now am old, yet <coughs> yet I I not <coughs> yet have I not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread, man. Okay? Hey, so the Lord, he's not gonna he's not gonna forsake, you know, the hopeful elect. All right, Lord will we have that number. All right, we're not gonna be out there begging for bread. All right, in the time of Jacob's trouble. All right, the Lord, He's gonna have us uh, ducked off and, and eaten. All right, we're gonna be we're gonna be good, man. Okay, you know He He might have us in some mansion, man. You know, just eating and um eating and drinking. You know, having our women, man. Okay, you know we're not gonna be worrying for nothing. You know, uh, if we be of that number. All right. And I'm going to close out with this. Luke chapter 12, verse 6. Now I'm going to go to 16. So I can. It's in Matthew, book of Matthew, chapter 6 and verse 25. It says, Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink. <coughs> Nor yet for your body, what shall, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns, Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Okay, so the heavenly Father he feeds the birds of the air. Okay, how much how much more for his servants, man? Okay, he's going to feed his servants in the time of Jacob's trouble, man. You know, you just gotta have faith, man. Okay, you know that's why we put it in this work now. <coughs> we building up our faith, man. Okay. And we we do this work to be part of that elect number, man, to to receive the the kingdom as in the first fruits, okay. So the Lord willing, this video is edifying. I'm gonna, I'm gonna close out. Give all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakhotash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, the leaders of Israel. 
Shout them out to the sincere Akium, the elect, all right, and a few sisters. All right, to the next lesson, I say shout along.